Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to switch a disc in a multi-disc game for PlayStation 1 using the EPSXE emulator. So this is for Windows, this will work for Mac and Linux as well. So assuming you've got EPSXE set up, that's not what I'm covering in this video. I've got separate videos you know, covering the setup process and connecting different controllers. I will provide a link to that playlist in the description, so feel free to check that out. So again, assuming you've got it all already set up how do you you know switch discs one i recommend using the latest version of epsxe which as of creating this video is 2.0.5 for the newer one get that one you'll get the best compatibility and it just generally works better okay so first of all let me run a game that i have which is a two multi-disc game which is star wars rebel assault 2 love this game and there we go. So let's, I'm just going to run disk one. I've got a Xbox controller connected up to it. And so I'll be controlling it using that. Ooh, Darth Vader. Okay, so with Rebel Assault 2, in the later levels, you need the second disk. So if I go to... Select chapter. So I've unlocked all the chapters, but there's a cheat code that I know that allows you to unlock all the levels. And I'll do that. So the cheat code is triangle, square, 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 x, triangle. And press exit. It's been accepted. And now back out of it. If I go to start now. That it's gonna say please insert Rebel Assault 2 disc 2. So we need the you know second disc now. So if this pops up for any game where you need the second disc, or maybe you need to switch back to the first disc, all you have to do is press escape on your keyboard. And what this does, it doesn't shut it down, it just pauses it. As you can see, a lot of the options are grayed out. You can't run ISO anymore. We can continue, but we don't want to do that yet. I'm going to go to change disk and here you can even select ISO which is what we're going to select so if you have a local copy of it in ISO form or you know bin and Q form anything like that is ISO if you have the physical original CD that you've you know put in your CD DVD or Blu-ray drive in your computer then you want CD-ROM I guess technically you can mix and match one disk could be ISO one disk could be CD-ROM maybe you really had the discs and it's not working or you lost one disk and you've got a ISO from somewhere. But for me it's ISO, so if I click ISO, I go to the second disk, select that, click open, it's launching up. Spare with me, it will actually start working. They say it's checking disk. Again, that's just something Rebel Assault 2 specific. You know, we cannot control the damage the, the reactor core could go critical at any time. Disengage from space dog. We, we can cannot, my lord. Working. And I'm skipping all of this. Pausing it. And that is it. That is how you switch discs on a multi disc game for PlayStation 1 using the EPSXE emulator. If you have any questions, you know, any problems that you're having with this or anything else, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.